it's time for hill repeat. Let's go. Hello everybody, my name's Ben Parks, 225 marathoner and ultra runner, and today I want to talk about something that's gonna make you faster, stronger, and improve your form. It's hill repeat. So let's start out with the basics. What are hill repeats? Well, essentially we're running up and down a hill a multiple number of times. And we can either do that based on the amount of time we run up that hill, so it might be 60 seconds, or we could do that on the distance we run up the hill. So it might be 100, 150 meters. And we do that, as I say, multiple number of times or multiple number of repetitions. So moving on to why are we going to be doing hill repeats? What makes them so good? Well, the first thing is it really helps build leg strength and that's obviously really crucial when we're trying to run in endurance racing and log distance. We need some strong foundation legs there to be able to go the distance. It really helps improve our running form in the way we're sort of striding out there, gets that good sort of leg turnover. And also it is sort of that speed work in disguise, disguise with the way our heart, which is a muscle, is sort of growing, and contracting, growing, contracting. It's really helping to work that working our cardiovascular system as well as building our leg strength as well and also if you're out and you've got some trail races and things it gives us really good confidence when it comes to those hilly races that we can get up that hill really well so where are we going to be doing our hill repeats well on a hill obviously now people get really obsessed about finding that perfect hill to do their hill repeats on and that really doesn't exist i suppose if you had to look for something you'd be about sort of four percent incline which is very similar to where i am here in may's hill uh, just at the side of Greenwich Park in London. But don't stress about it too much. You can do these on treadmills. I'll put some treadmill workouts linked down below and some examples over here. And um, yeah, so just any hill that's around about your house where you feel you can run up for around about that 60 to 90 seconds. Of course, if it's too steep, you're gonna burn out. And if it's not steep enough, you'll feel it's quite easy. So you're just looking for somewhere 60 to 90 seconds that you can run up at a nice sort of comfortable but energetic pace. So how are we gonna go about doing these hill repeats? For me, I like to work on distance. So I pick two different landmarks, one at the bottom of the hill and one at the top of the hill or to get into towards to the top of the hill. And I like to run between those two uh, points and then sort of time how long it takes me to get between them. Now I lap my watch when I'm at the bottom of the hill and lap it again at the top of the hill and then for that lap I get a specific sort of set time and I just try and replicate that every time going up the hill. I don't sort of get too obsessed about it but during the session but I try and keep all of my reps to be around the same sort of time and then I can have a look at it when I get back home on Strava later on. Alternatively though of course you can run up for a certain amount of time and again, that works in a similar sort of way. You can lap your watch at the bottom, run up the hill for the, anywhere between sort of 60 to 90 seconds is what we recommend. And then after that time's elapsed, lap it again at the top. And then you get a certain amount of distance that you've covered in that time. And you're always trying to cover the same amount of distance. It's quite good with this one because you can try and sort of work a little bit harder as the session goes on and try and get further and further up the hill as it goes. So how hard do we want to be working? Well, we want to be talking around about that sort of 85, 90% effort going up the hill and keeping that nice intensity all the way up. Now, I always say the most important thing for me is the recovery when we're coming back down. You want to bring your heart rate right back down. So you may even want to just walk down, relax. You can never go too slowly when you're recovering from hill repeats. When I do my hill repeats, I wear my heart rate monitor and on the way down, I put that my heart rate screen onto my watch and I don't start the next hill repeat till I'm back in zone two, back in sort of roughly into the 140 beats a minute for me. So for me, recovery is key and then yeah, turn around and give it we'll give it a really big effort going back up up to about that sort of 90 percent effort so how many of these do we want to be doing well i'd recommend if you're a beginner you haven't kind of done this sort of thing before you want to be talking about sort of four or five repetitions so yeah after that you're going to feel nice and tired if you're more of an intermediate you're talk, probably talking about six seven maybe up to about eight repetitions more advanced runners um yeah sort of like myself i'm going to be doing sort of nine ten if i'm feeling particularly good maybe up to about 11 repeats uh, before I get really nice and tired at the end.
in. A few other little things to consider is make sure you get a really decent warm up done. So for me, I might be doing sort of one, 2K, nice, easy running, and also then some dynamic stretching, really sort of open up those legs and get all the muscles activated. You don't wanna be doing this from cold, you're really gonna open yourself up to potentially getting injured. And something that I always quite like to do is to do sort of that sort of medium run beforehand, so it might be sort of five or 6K, build in a little hill session, um, probably a little bit less, more about five or six hill repeats, and then carry on with my run afterwards. It's really good to get to yourself running on slightly tired legs in that second half of the run, and really helps with marathon endurance training. And also, if, you're, if you are just doing that standalone session, then of course, while we're doing a warm up beforehand, make sure we're doing a cool down. A little bit of static stretching, and a nice sort of easy one or two K jog afterwards. <laughs> There we have it guys, that's my little quick guide to hill repeats. Let me know down in the comments, are you someone that really likes being out on the hills? Are you one of those rare breeds that loves charging up and down the hills? Or do you just hate this, but you have to feel like you're out there getting it done? Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you've got any other questions or things and videos you'd like to see coming up, then let me know down there as well. As always, I couldn't do these videos without your kind of support. So a like and a thumbs up would really help the channel. And of course, subscribe. We've got loads of new content coming up with training for ultras and also a 10K tips video in the pipeline. So as usual guys, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one.